Hi, I'm Gordon Jennings with Barcoders.com. Today we're at Scrapbook.com to show you how some of our programs work. We're going to show you how they work to make you more efficient, cut down on your errors, and over the long run make you more profitable. The next program that I'd like to show you is RF Cycle Count. Cycle Count was designed to allow you to control your inventory and to allow you to sync your online inventory with your physical inventory and also allows you to move one item uh, to another item in, in the warehouse. So you can easily move fast moving items closer to where your pickers are and your, and your shipping and slow moving items to the back of your warehouse. So the way that it works is you simply um, arrow down to the cycle count software, hit enter and it pulls up the program. It only allows certain employees to do it. So in this particular case, I have the, the assistant the warehouse manager badge today. I'm borrowing that. And I'm going to scan it. It'll let me. And now it allows me to, to scan a barcode. So I'll, I'll take this item right here. And before we even do this, we'll look at the count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven physical units on the shelf. So I'm going to scan the UPC of the item and it tells me that the quantity on hand is seven. That means that there's seven available for sale. So this particular item is in sync. The physical inventory is in sync with the online inventory. But let's say that I wanted to change it. What I would simply do is I would hit Q for change the quantity on hand. Hit Q. And then it asks me what's the new quantity. And let's, let's pretend that there were nine here instead of seven and I wanted to change the quantity on hand. I could actually enter nine and, and hit enter and it would then update the quantity actually real-time in the Stone Edge database right from the aisle. So that's the beauty of cycle count is it allows someone with a high enough authority or security level in your system to make the changes to your Stone Edge database inventory table. The other thing it allows me to do is let's say I wanted to move this item up to here or up to the front of the warehouse because it was on sale or special this month then what I could do is I could scan the barcode. It shows me the location is 37-B-3-03 and I could actually change the, the L, type in L for change the location. In this particular case I'm going to put it right back where it, where it is and I'm going to scan the location and it now is updated the Stone Edge inventory table. It updated it with what was already there, this, the existing location and it's now real time been changed. The beauty of this is if their orders already printed out, they would have the old location on it, but using our RF pick or multi pick, it would actually pull the new location real time as they go to pick the item. So it's changed instantaneously. So that's an advantage to using a gun over the old, um, the old style where you go to a stone edge terminal and have to change it uh, manually.